everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best designed ultra lightweight travel trailers in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Coachman Northern Spirit Model 293BH. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited. We are showing you guys the 293BH, which is hands down one of my favorite ultra lightweight types of travel trailers from Coachman. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good. Guys, we just made an announcement on the Motorhome channel. We are back with General RV. Binging people the best prices in America. That's right, that's why we're back. So um, yeah, guys, make sure to check that video out. All the details will be there. But other than bringing the best price in America back, nothing's really changing. So Matt, let's just continue the video. Well, nothing's changing at all. Yeah. Still looking good. Still, 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 still enjoying the Florida weather. That's right. It's still giving you three here. things we like and three things we don't like. Yep. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is 2963BH. The actual tip to tip length is 34 feet long. The dry weight is 6,588 pounds, which is insanely light for a trailer this big. Right. And the hitch weight is 760 pounds. Well, this is the Coachman Northern Spirit Ultralight. I love it. This, as you guys know, like the Cougar and the Imagine are my favorite floor plans. This one competes with it, but it does give you a U-shaped dinette on the inside. Very nice. Exciting. Right here, we do have a nice Lippard Power Tongue Jack. Propane tanks go here, spare tire, spare tire carrier, and your batteries go here. Right here, we do have a nice diamond plate rock card. Oh man, Will. What? Today's November 1st. People didn't get to see our Halloween costumes. Yeah. Because it kind of got messed up with all the scheduling. So here, bing. That was our Halloween costumes. And Will, I still think I should have been Sully. Oh, I don't, is that what you think? I don't know why I was Mike was out. I don't know. Right here, we do have a, <laughs> uh, a nice fiberglass front cap, LED lights. Very nice, the diamond plate rock guard there. Coming on down the side here, we do have storage. Very nice. nice. Pass through. Okay. Good size door. Twisty locks though, you know how we feel about that. Yep. And right there is manual stabilizing jacks. And then coming on down, we'll look at this very nice power awning with LED lights. Very nice. Right over here, we do have Lippert solid steps. Very nice, making it easy to get in and out. Nice grab handle here. And because this is Coachman, they're using aluminum cage construction and Asdell for their sidewall. Guys, Asdell is a grain-based material, so if any moisture ever gets back here, it's not going to delaminate on you like Luon would. That's right. And it does have the heated and enclosed underbelly uh, with heating pads on the tanks. Coming on down, look at these tires. Well, they're Castle Rocks. I love those. ST205-75 R14. And Will, what the heck's going on here with these spread axles? Yeah, it, it's spread out a little bit wider, um, which should give you a little bit of a better towing experience, balancing that weight out a little bit. So okay. um, I think Coachman does that a lot on their um, floor or on their travel trailers. So perfect. Right here is the Invisa hold. All right. See, this isn't it's not a lot of money. Right. They should have done that over there. Right over here, Will. We do have nice cabinetry, nice color cabinetry. Right over here, we have the nice uh, refrigerator. Okay. Little sink here. Check it out. Well, we're coming back with a bang. That's right. Right here is a cooktop in the first video back with General. Psh, America. America. John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Love that. I do too. Coming on down, you do have a place for your TV on the outside. Okay. Um, black tank flush system. The crappy black steps, which we hate. Yeah. We don't need the solid steps. This is a second door to the bathroom. Put well, the aluminum. Yeah, we do. Yeah, put the aluminum steps. I agree. Perfect. And then right here is a place for you to leash up your dog. Cool. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Uh, prep for the Voyager backup camera. No ladder to get up on the roof, dang that, but Will, 
It's not prepped for one either, which surprises me a little. Yes. And then right here is the back door. What I love about this wheel is that this flips up out of the way. So you can use this for storage, crates, bikes. I love that. Anything that you want. It's so multi-purpose. Yes. And there is a way to um, lock it from the inside as cool. well. To make sure nobody steals your children in the middle of the night. That's right. Oh, I'm here for you. <laughs> right here is a Dometic water heater okay looks like a six gallon dsi coming on over here there's another place to leash up the dogs uh 50 amp service okay probably one ac and it probably sec prep for the second no it's actually got two on it oh it does yep very nice city water connection cable hookup and everything over here a little bit of storage from the outside it's probably where you're storing the uh power hose yep and then right there well that's where you're dumping your tank that's a great spot yes and then finishing up on the outside. Okay. We're gonna walk down here. We got our potable water fill. Potable, potable. Yes, sir. And then here's a little bit more storage. Cool. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. No skipping today here, light skipping. Light skip. What happened? Well, I wish I could tell everybody that you know, we got into a, a big fight yeah. during Halloween with some And you scary kicked somebody's clowns. butt. <laughs> right. But unfortunately, I rolled my ankle on a piece of mulch. Yeah. <laughs> Not a cool story. <laughs> All right. Master bedroom up front, living area, dining area, kitchen, all that here. There's bunks in this back corner. And across from that is the bathroom. Well, before we show everybody the inside, let's give a big shout out to Lipper, which we just got back from the Lipper getaway. So let's give them a big shout out. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back. You can relax it. You can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Oh, Sir William, to be back in Tampa with the humidity <laughs> today feels so great. Well, where do we start? In front or the back? Let's start in the front, I think. All right, we'll start up front here in this awesome master bedroom. Okay. Check out what they got going on here. Again, as Will said, the second Furion air conditioning unit. Right here we have some storage. Get that top. Very nice. Okay. Can you get that one? Yes, sir. More there storage there. And then same thing over here on this side. And right there, you do have a little nightstand right there. Yes, sir. Power and USB there. Do you have it on your side as well? We do. Awesome. So power and USB on both sides. Yes. And then when you come on back here, uh -huh. get back to that doorway. Nice big doorway, single it is. pocket door. Right over there, that's where you're hooking up the TV. Okay. And over here, oh, bam, nice. bada bing, bada freaking boom. How you doing? I love this. Right. And so now I can actually get dressed. I can get changed. Right. Fat, so I can put my shoe on like this. I can ice up my ankle that's injured <laughs> because I can't walk normal and I roll my ankle on right. a piece of mulch. Right here, we got the drawer. Okay. Nice $300 laundry basket right there. Okay. And then place for shoes underneath there. I well, love that. Love this feature. Perfect. And then coming on over here into the dining room area. Mm -hmm. We have right here. Oh, dog thing. Oh, for my Yuna and your Tucker. Yeah. Very nice. Right over here. More storage. Okay. No carpet in the slide. I Flush floor that. slide. Nice U-shaped dinette. I love this. Big enough for all the families. You have these nice windows here. Good looking balances. Very neutral. 
This drops down to make a bed, and I love this. Okay. And then over here, Sir William, we do have very nice Thomas Paine collection, I believe, theater seats. These two recline out. You got a remote holder, cup holder. Very comfortable and nice. It's very, very nice. And then over here, it is directly across from the TV Entertainment Center. Now, here's what I do know. I've sold some of these. We can put a fireplace there. It's just an electric oh, okay. fireplace. Yeah. Um, it will protrude out some, okay. obviously. But if you do want the fireplace, you can have it there. Notice how the heat ducts aren't in the floor. Yeah. Very nice storage right here. Okay. And, Will, as I took a step back, I, ow, I saw. Oh, I didn't see it. Cool. Look at this. There is storage going on behind the TV. That's really cool, actually. I, and I love how they did, you know, this didn't cost a lot. It's nothing Oh, special. yeah, no, dude, that's a freaking yeah. 16th inch piece of wood. But it's enough to keep everything from sliding out while you're traveling down the road. I love that. Yeah, man. To get this, uh, there you go. Okay. A little bit of storage there. Looks like there's some Phone wireless charger? charger there. Very nice. And then over here, we have a little bit of storage Pantry, right there space and storage right there well well do you know what time it is it's now time for the msrp well this is what's super exciting uh-oh we are back with the best price in america msrp on this exact unit here is fifty eight thousand zero zero five dollars okay that's stock number two five one 580 okay in the company we have one at fifty seven thousand six hundred and thirty eight dollars that's stock number two six two nine seven one in will yeah we have that one discounted 31 percent off oh, wow that's great and will that means it is discounted seventeen thousand six hundred and thirty nine dollars off the msrp which puts the sale price at $39,999. Will, that is fan-freaking-tastic. That is, it really is. And if you guys are interested in that one or this one, or if there's a couple more in the company, no matter what, we're always going to get you the best price in America. All you ha guys have to do is go to generalrv.com backslash matscash. We've linked it down below. Go to matsrvreviews.com. Fill out the, you're ready to buy, and that will take you there if you can't figure out how to use the link. Or you can call 844-969-4033. Somebody will get back to you ASAP, and we are going to make sure that you get the best price in America. And, Will, that's my phone blowing up. People are like, man, we need the best price in America right. right now. Will, show us this kitchen. Okay. I'll start right over here. I love this Furion refrigerator. Nice big compressor fridge. So this works off with electric only. High point microwave right here. Nice range hood right there. Hood range. Three burner Magic Chef cooktop. Very nice. Magic Chef. With oven underneath. A little bit of cabinet space up top there. Okay, okay. I really like this nice big window here. Let in some natural light. And I'm wondering what this is for. This is definitely for something. Oh, yep, right there. This. Yep. So it looks like these can slide in here. That's really cool, actually. Get them out of your way. Yes, sir. Um, while you're doing dishes and everything. Not solid surface countertops. Again, that's... Ultra know, lightweight. Yeah, ultra lightweight. It's not expected. Double bowl stainless steel sink. You do have those inserts. And then you got some storage there and some drawers here. And I think I missed this one, so yes, that's sir. storage there. But also, what really makes this floor plan awesome is this nice big pantry right here. Wow. Look at this. Hey, that's $156 trash can. There it is. Um, and it's actually got a little latch for it to like hold on to in there, which is cool. Very nice. Cool. Nice little uh, coat hook here. Put your wallet, keys, whatever in there. No, so. Will, I know it's been a while, but you didn't show that. Uh-oh. Oh, this? Yes. Nice flip up counter space there. And, and I like how it's pretty deep too. And you didn't show this. Oh man. America John Cena. Come. I, uh, How'd you miss the second bear opener? How I, how I missed that. I'm always watching for those. Well. Slacking on the job today. Huh? It's right there. 
You missed it. I know. But I got your back. Well, that's okay. what we do. Thanks. And then over here is the bunk bed. You got a ladder that hooks up right here. Nice big size bunk storage up there. Prongs, USB. Again, this flips up out of the way. I absolutely love that. So you can use it for storage. And then, well, we're here in the bathroom and okay. oh no. Uh-oh. Everything was going so well, wasn't it? It was. So we have a shower tub right here. It's actually plenty tall. Okay. But I feel like we've had debates on these shower tubs before. I don't think we should be allowed to pass them. Yeah. Because like, are you wide enough? Can you stand? Yeah, not like this. Right. Yeah, that sucks. So. That's like, just give props. it a shower tub. Yeah. You know, cause there is enough room. But see, the problem is with it being a bunk model. I know, you know. some people want to bathe the kids. I hear ya. Right here we have this nice little sink storage there. And then Will, oh, you know, we were doing so good for our first video back. But Will, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. Okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay, I actually have the first two outside. Okay. Dislike number one, Will. I am not a fan of the twisty doors, you know, especially here and then you have the lock. Give me the door with the handle. Look, when you look at the back of it, that it, handles aren't too, too, it's not gonna make it that much more with a handle. Give me a handle and let this door latch close. Yep. That's dislike number one. Dislike number two, Will, we said it earlier, we don't mind that it's the fold up steps because you have the solid steps over there, but get, make these the aluminum steps. Yep. The black steps look bad. The black steps, they're gonna rust out. Just give me the nice aluminum steps. I agree. That is dislike number two. Will, what's dislike number three? Okay, my dislike is gonna be kind of a combo. Like everything in here is so great until you get to this bathroom. Mm. Um, you know, number one, the plastic toilet. And yes. it's really not in that creative a position. Yes. But then number two, the shower tub. Now granted, some people who are buying this might like this, but for it's me, not about personally, yeah. you know, it, it, it's not what I would want. So exactly. One thing I did forget to mention, I props oh, to having yes. the door. That's like really, this. really huge. Yeah, I love that. Perfect. That's three things we love about don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Will. First and foremost is gonna be the floor plan. I love the seats directly across from the entertainment center. Yep. I love the U-shaped dinette. I love the use of the kitchen in here, the whole living room area. You don't need to have kids to buy this. You right. know? A lot of people can buy this without kids and use those banks, bunks for storage. Yeah. That's like number one. Will, like number two? For like number two, I'm definitely going to say these bunks. Yes. These are actually really nice big bunks. I like how you can unlock and lock the door here and open it from there. Um, but yeah, just these bunks are, are really nice and wide. Great for your kids, even as they start to grow a little bit older and Ex bigger. Exactly. So. That's going to be number two. And then Will... We're going outside. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna combo with your bunks with the front bed as well, how it flips Oh up. yeah. I do love that. Well, that's number two. And then number three for me is going to be the door to the bathroom on the outside with this awesome outside kitchen. Yep. This is absolutely phenomenal, guys. And here's what you don't understand. You'll see this now in everything. Okay? Yeah. But back in the day when I first started selling RVs, you either got a door to the bathroom an outside kitchen or the TV in a good viewing spot. You right. never had all three. Now they designed it in a way to where you're looking directly across at the TV, you have an outdoor kitchen and you have a bathroom on the outside. That's I freaking right. love that and it's absolutely fantastic. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Again, business as usual. We always, guys, listen, I know a lot of people are going to say some things and this and that. This is what we promise you. This is what Matt's RV Review is always about. We are always willing to do whatever it takes to help the customer, you guys, get the best deal in America. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And so if we have to look silly, hopping from here, hopping from there, we are always willing to do whatever it takes for you because without you guys, there's no Matt's RV reviews. And so if we have to hop all the way across America, that's just what we'll do, guys. That's right. We really do appreciate it. Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course. Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. 
And again, make sure to check out the video um, on the Motorhome channel if you want a little bit more details. But um, we are so excited to be back at General mm -hmm. and to bring back the best price in America and uh, sale prices and all that. So make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this unit. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. And then one more time, if you guys yes. want the best price in America, we've linked the website down below. Go to generalrv.com backslash Matt's Cash. Go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact form or call 844-969 four zero three three somebody from my team and i will personally contact you guys to make sure that you guys get the best price in america that's right thank you guys so much for watching and will we'll, we'll see, see you next time, time.